In this video, I'm going to be showing you the optimum settings to use with Ecamm Live when using it with the Rodecaster Pro 2. Now, if you are completely new to Rodecasters and the Rodecaster Pro 2 is your first device, then hopefully this will be very useful to you. But even if you are upgrading from the Rodecaster Pro 1 to the 2, and so you have got a little bit of experience with Rodecasters, uh, then you'll still find this useful because there are a few things that are done differently now in this version than they were in the, uh, the original model because of the extra functionality that they've added in. So uh, with that said, let's just get straight over on into it, shall we? And I've got the Rodecaster Pro 2 here set. I've got my uh, microphone coming into this channel. All of the other faders are down for the moment. Um, and what you can see is just down below me here, um, I have got the Rodecaster coming into Ecamm Live and you'll see that it's showing up there as Rodecaster Pro 2 main. And uh, you may wonder why that is so long. Well, I have got the, uh, the USB plugged into the computer uh, and there are actually on the that USB, there are two separate channels. So we've got Rodecaster Pro 2 main and Rodecaster Pro 2 uh, chat as well. I'll talk about the differences with those in a minute, but there is in fact a third potential channel there, uh, and that is because we've got a second USB. So that's one of the big differences between this and the previous version as well, is that there are now two USB outputs. Now you don't have to have them both plugged into your computer, it will work fine with just one of them. Uh, you could have that secondary cable going into a, a different computer, um, or you could have a, an iPad or an iPhone or something like that plugged into it. It also will plug into external storage to record to it, but I digress. <laughs> the fact is, you can also have that same cable or that second cable plugged into the same computer. If you do that, there'll actually be three devices that show up on your inputs and outputs on your computer. And those are as follows. Roadcaster Pro 2 main, chat and secondary. So that main and chat, as I say, are both on the first and the, the main cable. Um, and then that secondary is with your second USB. If you are connecting to your computer, then you will always default to that first cable. That's the one that also gives you access to the memory card and things like that. And for updating it using the Rode Central app and so on. I'll be covering all that in separate videos. Um, but for the time being, uh, just know that you can connect both of those cables and these uh, three outputs will appear and inputs. So it will default to this uh, main that is going to be the sort of primary uh, input output that it is going to default to. Uh, but what is the difference exactly between main and chat? Well, I'll come on to that in a little while. But first of all, I just want to talk about um, a couple of settings that you might want to just check uh, when using it specifically with Ecamm Live. Um, it is an input and output device as far as your computer is concerned. So you can either send the uh, audio from your computer into here and we can add it into the mix. Um, and also hear it in our headphones. It's an output device in that sense. But then it's also an input device. So anywhere where you could select a microphone, like in Ecamm Live, for example, or in Zoom or in uh, Teams or whatever, then this can be your microphone. So then you can take all of your audio from here into there and indeed anything you're going to mix in in terms of uh, sound effects, things like that, music tracks, all of these things that you can fade in and out, uh, then that can all feed into those applications. Uh, however, there is one small caveat, and this is one thing that might catch you out, is if you are using the Rodecaster Pro uh, to main as your input, then you do just need to uh, check one thing in Ecamm Live specifically. Uh, because what you would expect is, uh, as I'm talking, if I move this fader down, uh, that you would see a change in the volume. And you might be hearing a slight change in volume, but if I move this all the way down to the bottom, I now can't hear anything. And that's what you would expect. If the fader is down at zero, you would expect that there is zero going out of it. However, you can still hear that. I know that you can still hear that because just down below, I can see that that little meter is bouncing up and down and obviously you can hear it, but I can't hear it in my headphones. So why exactly is that happening? Well, that is a little setting that we need to check in Ecamm Live. So if I just bring up the preferences of Ecamm Live, uh, what you want to do is in the audio settings, uh, then come down to this one here, map input channels one and two to left and right stereo. We just need to make sure that's set because we do have a stereo output coming from the Rodecaster into Ecamm. And so we do just need to make sure we have got that one set. That having been done, uh, what you'll notice now is as I move this slider down to zero, hopefully my voice will disappear. And there it is. <laughs> it's completely gone and I could see that because of the meters stopping uh, going up and down just down below me uh, and obviously you wouldn't have been able to hear that. So 
And that solves that problem. There is, however, another problem with using the Rodecaster Pro 2 main as the uh, as the the microphone and also the output. So you'll notice that if I come over to my settings again, uh, I do also have my speakers up here set to Rodecaster Pro 2 main. Uh, it could also be set to system default. And as I say, it might be set that the Rodecaster 2 main is your system default. Um, but in any case, what is the uh, the problem with this? Well, what we're doing then is we're uh, giving uh, the audio from Ecamm is coming into the Rodecaster, uh, and that's how I can hear what's going on, like if I'm playing any audio in Ecamm, for example. Um, but then also that audio is in the mix and feeding back into Ecamm. And that's what would give you uh, what's called slapback or where you're basically hearing the same sort of thing twice. Uh, and I can demonstrate that quite easily because this fader here is my uh, the that particular channel. So that is the Ecamm, uh, sorry, Rodecaster Pro to main. Uh, so now anything that I play in Ecamm is going to come into here. So if I play a sound effect, what you're going to notice is, first of all, it's coming into the Rodecaster. So you'll see that this bounces up and down here, this little meter. Uh, but what you'll also notice is down below, um, any sound effects that I play in Ecamm would normally occur here. So you would see that this, uh, just as we've got a green bar bouncing up and down on the meters in Ecamm here when I'm talking, uh, any sound effects that play, you would see the meters bouncing up and down here. Now, when I play this sound effect in a moment, what you're going to notice is, first of all, there is a slight duplication of the sound, so you're going to get this slap back. Um, but also, you'll notice that as well as the sound effect registering here, uh, I won't be talking, but the sound effect will still be registering up on this, uh, this top level as well, which is where it's coming back from the roadcast. So you'll see what I mean uh, right now. Uh oh, I didn't do something stupid. So you could see there that it registered on the Rodecaster and it registered on the sound effects. And then also because it was registering on the Rodecaster, it was coming back and you were hearing that thing. A lot of people would call that echo, but it's actually slapback. Uh, you're just hearing the same thing back to you again. Uh, so that is the issue with using the Rodecaster Pro to main setting in Ecamm Live, because obviously this is a great audio device, the Rodecaster, to, uh, Rodecaster Pro 2. We can do lots with this. We can play sound effects. We can have our music. We can fade music in and out and things like that. But let's not forget all of the great audio functionality that's already built into Ecamm as well. So you have, for example, like a countdown timer for your live stream where you've got a music playing, uh, music playing in the background. Uh, and then as the scene changes, it automatically fades the music out. So there's lots that we can do in Ecamm with audio as well. And we want to take uh, advantage of that. Uh, it might be that you're also playing... Uh, uh, movies or something in Ecamm where the audio is coming out from the movie as well. Uh, or it could be just that you're using interview mode in Ecamm Live. And so you've got interviewees coming on uh, and you want to hear the audio for them. It needs to come into the mix and you don't want it feeding back. What we need for that then is uh, something called mix minus. And mix minus is basically where you've got a situation exactly like I was just talking about and it solves this problem. It means that the audio that's coming from the computer into the device is subtracted or minus <laughs> from the mix uh, that's going back to the computer. And so it's just basically digitally removing uh, that audio uh, that's coming in from the signal that's going back out to the computer again. Uh, and that is the difference between those uh, two different settings, uh, Rodecaster Pro 2 main, uh, which doesn't have mix minus, and Rodecaster Pro 2 chat, which has mix minus permanently switched on. So if I come into my uh, settings here and I change this one here from Rodecaster Pro 2 main to Rodecaster Caster Pro 2 chat. Uh, and then also if I make sure that I come into my settings as well in Ecamm and I'll go to the speakers and I'll change that also to Rodecaster Pro 2 chat. Uh, what that's going to mean is now the audio from the Ecamm is going to Rodecaster Pro 2 chat. It's coming into the mixer, uh, but then it's been removed minus from the mix that's going back in as the microphone into Ecamm. Uh, and so what that basically looks like now is now that I've got that set, if I play that audio again, uh -oh. and first of all, what I need to do is I've uh, now swapped from uh, this one is now my Rodecaster Pro 2 chat <laughs> channel. So I'll just take this one down. Uh, now what you'll notice is if I play that audio again, uh oh, I didn't do something stupid. You hear that clearly without that slapback going on. I can still hear it in here because it's coming into this channel uh, and you can actually see the uh, fader moving up and down here. Uh oh, I didn't do something stupid. Uh, but you're just not hearing the slapback, so it completely solves that problem. 
Now these settings will apply whether you're using Ecamm Live for recording, live streaming, or as a virtual mic and virtual camera to go into the likes of Zoom, Microsoft Teams, uh, and so on. Um, and if you are doing that, what I would suggest is you have the setup exactly as I've just talked about, and then you do still use the Ecamm Live virtual mic to go into your Zoom call. Now, there is a bit of a niche use case though, whereby you might have people on interview mode in Ecamm Live, you're feeding that as a sort of production into uh, Zoom. Um, maybe you're doing a workshop or something like that and giving a presentation and bringing people in. Um, but where you still want the people on the interview mode to be able to hear the people who are on the Zoom call as well. Like if you're going to bring people up to ask questions and things like that of the panel. Now, previously, this was still that last little uh, outstanding use case that we would have for loopback in conjunction with Zoom and Ecamm Live, where you want to have that sort of two-way routing of the audio. Uh, well, one of the great things about the Rodecaster Pro 2 is it does have that secondary USB output, uh, and this can be used for a number of things, not least what I've just talked about there, having that two-way communication with Zoom and sort of incorporating people into the production, uh, but not necessarily having them in there all the time, as it were. Um, but there is another use case, which I'll be using this for as well, which is if you want to be doing a live stream, for example, but then you want to have literally a live back channel going on uh, on Discord so that people can join in the discord and maybe you can bring them up to ask live questions or things like that or maybe you want moderators that can literally uh, talk to you as you're <laughs> going on your uh, doing your live stream to tell you you know if your audio's dropped out or <laughs> anything like that the sorts of things that people like to tell us about on live streams um so this can all be done by utilizing that second usb plugged into the same computer now that is uh, getting a little bit more advanced, but I'll be telling you exactly how to do that in the next video that's coming up here. I'll also leave a playlist for all of my other Roadcaster videos up there as well.